Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with another Siege Battle for you today and we are in Middle Earth with the Rise of Mordor mod for Attila Total War. And we have an excellent Siege Battle for you today as the catapults are letting loose their deadly missiles. Um, here is Dol Amroth um, besieging, well it looks like an elven city almost. I think it's called Calum, uh, Calumbel or something like that. But here come the Knights of uh, Imrahil. Um, but yes, we have... Dol Amroth on this side, we have over the far side Dale um, besieging this side. We also have Beam besieged Dorwinian, and we have Isengard over here, which I'll just uh, give you a quick visit. And Nate, you can have a look at these guys. Look at these boys, ready to hold Uruk archers, and then we'll have a, and then Dale's over here taking on Isengard. So an unlikely alliance in defence and an unlikely alliance in attacking, to be honest as well. Dale and Dol Amroth. On other sides of the uh, world, really. And uh, Isengard and Dorwinian, well, that's evil and good. Uh, um, Dale and Dorwinian have very similar units, so like the shipmen, for instance. Both unit, both factions have this unit. Um, Dorwinian and Dale being both very uh, close to each other um, in geography. Uh, I think like Dorwinian is just to the east, like the southeast of uh, Dale um, in like the world of Middle Earth. Um, but yes, yeah, so they're very similar. There's a few other units I think they've got that are pretty similar. Um, but I don't think any others are being brought today. Uh, oh, Vinland Guards, that's the other one that's very similar. Well, very similar and identical. I, uh, both factions have the, this unit. And I've also, I am playing as Dorwinian and I've brought, also brought the spear version of that. And I think we both have, um, yeah, Vinland Watchmen as well. So these pikes. Um, but apart from that, basically everything else is different. Completely different factions, but yes, so um, I hope you guys have been enjoying all of the uh, sieges currently in Siege Week. Um, we are about halfway through now, uh, this is number four, this is about like halfway through. Um, so I hope you guys are all enjoying and uh, staying safe and well and staying inside. And so if you're enjoying, then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe, and a comment. And if you want to join uh, in any of these battles, then don't forget to join the Papal Legion Discord, which is down below in the description. But anyway, on with the siege. So I'm pretty sure that the first, uh, well, the first bit of uh, engagement is a lot of uh, hammering down of walls, um, mainly from these onagers here. I mean, this is looking like it's going to just take out this chunk of the wall here, which is fairly, um, which I personally think was the attacker's first mistake. Yeah, this is, this is fine to take down. This isn't the end of the world taking this uh, wall down as they're about to do so, but you're making it very easy for the defenders to choke you, uh, like put you in a choke point, um, like you just have to get you there, here we go, just, there we go, that's gone, um, they only have to put you in a choke point there and here, it's very easy for them to defend, um, obviously he's got siege towers as well, so that's going to help him, um, same with Dol Amroth on the side, he's got siege towers and he's got his artillery, but now if I was Dol Am not Dol Amroth, or Dale, I would be trying to knock down another wall, so maybe here, Maybe over here. Um, now that would be what I'd do next, just to make it harder. But he looks like he's going for the next bit of wall along. He's done a lot of missing there, destroying these poor houses. Um, yeah, I mean these poor inhabitants. Look at them, these elven people. I mean this is also very handy. There is another way into the sea. They can go across this bridge and then down this bridge. It is already been defended by some Urukai infantry. They'll hold this pretty. S pretty well, they've got their shield wall ready and there's also another one over here for Dol Amroth he's got exactly the same, another bridge here and then another bridge into the city this way so uh, interesting to see but I have also got some oh my god, Vinter Court Swordsman here, ooh these guys pretty good, yeah they actually do look kind of nice, I like like the mix in that armour that they have going on, they have like the helmets and then they have the um, hoods, the but I mean, I'm probably going to make a small cut here just while the bombarding's going on because no one really want to watch that, and I know that the bombarding takes a little longer than uh, I'd like to. As yeah, Dolanos is about to take out that bit of the wall. But yeah, so I'll see you guys in a moment when the actual fighting begins. So here we go, the siege towers are coming forward now. Dol Amroth is starting to move forward, as is Dale on the other side. And it do let's have a look at what's going in first for Dol Amroth. We have uh, Sea Ward, Sword Infantry, so Solid Infantry there. Haven Guard, Dismounted Knights of Immer Hill. And more Haven Guard, more oh my gosh, this is going to be an insanely 
some very elite infantry going in here first. Um, they have knocked down... Well, they've knocked down two breaches here. They're about to knock down a third here by the looks of it. And then, but they're very short on ammo. Um, but yeah, they are sending a lot of infantry over here. Um, I've got plenty of infantry myself ready. I've got shipmen and uh, Vinter Court Guard ready to basically repel them. We've got lots of archers over here ready to shoot any archers that... Uh, any archers, any men that come just onto this wall as they have just now. Um, whether they'll be loosing any arrows, I do not know yet. But they're happily on the wall now. Look at them. They're just like, yes, we've taken this wall. Then on the other side, let's have a quick look at... Dale is a... Uh, he's a little way off still, he's, but he's getting there. He's arriving. He looks like he's going to be sending a large force to go over this bridge and then round to attack here. Um, not a bad idea. I mean, I don't know if these are all going to be dedicated here. Some, I'm sure, will go into this breach. But um, I'm sure some will go around here and try and push through. Because this is not a bad way to try and get through. Sneaky way. Luckily, we saw it and were ready to defend it. Are the archers letting loose now? Not yet. They're about to. The Yard patrol is getting a little bit nearer by the looks of it. The order is about to be given. Here they go. First volley off. Oof, some nasty volleys. You can see like the blood splat already. I'm sure that's done a got a few. It's yeah, killed about one guy. Wow. Killed about one guy. But I mean look at all these guys. I mean they're about I think they're gonna have to come down here. This is the only way down. So all these units here are forced to come down here. I mean, they could come down this tower down as well, but these ones are all well guarded. Me and um, Eisenhower went different different tactics. I decided to defend not on the walls, because mainly because there's not much of the walls left. There's, the, there's this bit over here, but I mean, there's a lot of nasty infantry, which I did not really want to send my uh, not-so-good infantry in to fight. Like, Shipman and Vinter Court Guard are going to get wrecked by most of this Dol Amroth infantry. He's got more over here with Silver Chevrons. He's got um, coast guards, some more coast guards. He's got a lot of uh, skirmishes as well. I've got more archers over here, ready to just shoot into the back of anyone that comes into this choke point. So I'm going to just try and defend this as much as possible and the towers. And then we'll see if we have to fall back from there. I've got some better stuff. I've got my uh, Darwinian spear paladins. These are like the Vinland um, swords, but they're like this, this is the spear version. Marching through the market. Taking up some positions, they're going to probably have to be uh, sent in sooner rather than later. They've yet to come down here yet, but these I'm sure it will be only be a matter of time. He's, I don't know what's happening here. Do not know what's happening. Here we go. Here they come down. Haven Guard, all sorts. Do, uh, dismounted Dol Amroth. Uh, dismounted uh, Knights of... What are they? Knights of Emer Hill. Why could I not remember that? I had a, just a brain fart. I was just like, they dismounted Knights of Dol Amroth. I was like... No, the whole faction's Dol Amroth. But yes, so that's happening. On the other side, we have a wall fight now already. Um, it looks like Urukai fighting um, Shipman. Oh no. Yeah, fighting Shipman. Could not see them. They look like... I don't know. Urukai of their own. They look like it's just Urukai versus Urukai, and that's not right. That's definitely not right. And then what do we have here? What do we, we have some... Uh, Spear militia that you sent up, which is kind of a bit of a waste, sending spears up onto a wall. They're getting absolutely annihilated, and they've broken. And now some daily swords are firing some Uruk infantry. And look at that angle that these archers have got on this little uh, like hill over here. And uh, the gates have been utterly destroyed. Oh dear. Well, we'll go and have a look at that in a minute. Um, daily and swords here, though, losing decisively. And like, look at those. They've got a nice little angle. And then these ones further up the hill. Yeah, these ones as well. I, I could barely see that, to be honest. I mean, like, I, if I was a Urukai archer, I'd be like, I could barely see that. You'd just been like, ordered a fire there. Just like, just don't hit our men. Don't hit our men. But they definitely aren't. They're definitely hitting a lot of theirs, and they've already got this unit down to half strength. Onager crew going in now to, well, I don't know why, just kill some Urukai infantry. A lot of infantry now going across this bridge, as expected. Um, the gates have been blown open here. Not that any infantry is coming through, but the great gates have been blown open. And now the Seaward infantry now fighting down here against um, the shipmen. This is going to be an interesting fight. Uh, I imagine the Seaward infantry should win this fight. Uh, mainly because I think they're very heavy, yeah, against heavy. So in theory they should win, but I mean the arch tower here might just be enough to uh, change that. Because basically it's, every time it shoots it's basically killing someone.
Yeah, look at that. Just got a hit there. That's an instant death. Someone on fire. But here we go. First engagement over here as well. It looks like it's going to be some Coast Guard. Fighting off against uh, some more shipmen. And they've got some... Uh, oh dear, that guy got like impaled. Oh, he lost his head. I think he, thought he like got shot. But uh, we've got some skirmishes back here as well. But I mean, these Coast Guard, they seem to be like... Fighting like they've got swords or something. All right? This is not how a pole arm should fight. I find this unit's one of the like... On the offensive, not great. Defensive, they are pretty good. But here we go. They're pulling back. I think they're going to let the skirmishers in. And there we go. That guy getting his head chopped off for his... Uh, for his worth. He's like, this is what you get. Oh, another head being chopped off. It's like, this is what you get when you come in and invade our city. Oh my gosh. Now a volley. Harrowing volley of arrows coming in. And these jabbies are about to uh, unleash some hell on these shipmen. Poor man. This guy's not even looking the right way. He's uh, I, I put good money on him being the first to go. He's not yet tied yet. Oh, nasty little volley. Yep, yeah, there he goes, dead. Um, but yeah, so there's an engagement now going there. We've got the uh, Sea Ward infantry coming in here as well. Fighting off some Vinter um, Court Swordsmen. They should pro again, should probably win this. These Vinter Court Swordsmen, not great. Heavy infantry against very heavy. But will the arrow towers make a difference? If I was, I would probably just overwhelm. I sent another Sea Ward infantry in now. I'm just trying to overwhelm. Um, you could also possibly sneak past here. Could sneak past here with a sword unit. Um, but what we've got over here, we've already got more spears and we've got pikes now being sent in. Already pikes being sent in. Jeez. There is a lot of infantry in here. And I mean, these swords, swordsmen are losing. They're not great. Um, we're going to have a look at Dale quickly. Looks like Dale is already kind of giving up on his assault. He's already, like, getting forced out. Urukai infantry here surrounding shipmen. Look at. Uh, I'm not sure how these Urukai infantry are here. I think it's just like how they were set up and he landed and he then got himself surrounded. An unfortunate si situation. You don't really want to get surrounded by uh, Urukai. Yeah. End up being uh, back on the menu, you will. Because the Urukai do love a bit of man flesh. They'll be eating well today if they survive. That's not. That's going pretty well over here. They're about to engage. No, they're not yet, not yet engaged. I think they're. Don't know what they're waiting on. They've got a lot of shipment here, waiting. And daily and swords. They're gonna wait on. Uh, I guess maybe. Um, Isengard maybe to pull away from this formation, this area here. But they've got a long way to travel before, like, if they think that's gonna work. What broke here? Some more shipment. Some shipment got off the walls. Then it would seem. Not that they uh, got very far after that. Some poor Urukai scouts just cut... Well, not poor. Some Urukai scouts cut them down. I'm sure they enjoyed that. So anyway, we'll go back over to this side because it looks like Dale is uh, having a re rethought on how he's going to break through Isengard. But I mean, Dole Amroth just seems like he's going to try to go for brute force. Not the worst idea. Um, these are the perfect units for brute force. Um, Haven Guard, they'll cut through stuff. But I mean, there's some very elite stuff in here now. We've got these... Uh, Spear, bear, spear bearers, aren't they? I can't remember what they're called. I barely play spear paladins. I barely play as Darwinian. We barely see them. I can't remember their names. The spear paladins here. Oh, look at this guy. The officer here. Not even bothering with a helmet. He doesn't care. He'll risk it. And we've got pikes ready in reserve. Are the archers? Yeah, I was about to say our archers going to be coming up onto the walls. And yeah, they are just about to do that. Haven guard here getting absolutely shredded. Jeez. A uh, poor Haven Guard. They just got shredded by all these archers here. And it looks like there's more... Yeah, there's two units of archers here now. Maybe a third on the way. Who knows? Oh, the Coast Guard have actually... Coast Guard have got round here as well. Not a bad spot. It looks like they are... Well, I presume they're going to win this fight. Actually, I don't know. They've lost a few men. And these Vinter Court Swordsmen, you get to lose one. Not a good sign. And we've got more Vinland Guards here in reserve, ready just to like hold them back. Um, sea Ward Infantry here, losing. Not a good sign. Dol Amroth's really running out of troops. Like, look, at he's not got much outside. He's got some more Sea Ward Infantry. And that's about it. 
He's got skirmishers now going in to fight these uh, court swordsmen. These guys are probably just going to get destroyed by uh, the court swordsmen. Oh, and archers in the rear. It's those archers that are just beyond um, that front line there. Just firing into the back here. That is nasty. A very, very good way to kill people in Attila. Make sure that they turn their back and then come in and kill them. Or shoot them in the back as, they, uh, as they're attacking someone else. And here we go. More Seaworld infantry coming in. A very small depleted unit. Oof. Getting absolutely shot to pieces. And who we got here then? Looks like the final unit of Seaworld infantry coming in here. They are actually winning this fight. Yeah, look at these Yard Patrollers here. Just shooting into the back of everything here. They're running out of targets, though. There you go. I think they've, that's it. They're going to call it a day there. And we've got two units of swords in here now. Both. Well, one was losing decisively. Now it's even. But this one is losing decisively. It's now wavering. So Dolomar may break through here. But there's plenty of reserves ready. He just needs to... He just needs a sword unit here to like, support these Coast Guard. Because they're now getting overwhelmed. They're getting flanked. Now that they push forward, these Vincent Court Swordsmen are actually have lost a few men, but they're winning decisively. I mean, this unit here of Inland Guards can just like sneak on through, and it could probably go and help support there. They really need to push through here, and then they could cause a lot of problems. But yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. These Coast Guards, they're still losing decisively. What is happening on Dale's side then? Dale, what is happening here? It looks like he sent in the next wave. He's got some pikes over here, and he's got more swords. But Isengard, like, Isengard's not even interested. Barely any of these troops are, like, fighting. It's like, just the front line. And look at this. This, like, formation here of White Hand Storm is just ready for them. That is nasty. Like, after getting through this, if you get through this, this is, I think, two units of swords here? No, just a single unit of swords, which have lost three men. Mine, just to take into mind. Uh, after that, you're then fighting, like, sword stormers. This is a really good shooting by, uh... By Dale here, he needs to keep this in. That unit just there, shoot, he's like just focusing down this unit. Really, really good. If he focuses down this unit here, um, that'd be even better. Like, oh, yeah, he's getting some really good shots. He needs to start shooting down this unit back here, and then he'll like do a lot of nasty damage. And he could force uh, Ur the Urukai to give up this position. Like, that's just what's happening on the other side with uh, Dorwinium. Shooting down uh, people in the back. Start shooting these guys in the back. Because this is now like... Look how many men has... Like, it was on 143 since they formed Shield Wall. They fired about another two volleys since then. Not lost a single man. They need to start shooting guys back here. And they'll quickly turn that balance of uh, the battle around. Uh, massive break over here by Dor... Uh, not Dorwinian. By Dor Amroth against Dorwinian. Some friendly fire going on there, it looks like, as well. Shipman getting shot in the back. But here we go. It looks like Shipman and Royal Vintercourt Swordsman... Going up, they're going to go in and surround these uh, forces over here. And Vinland Guard's ready as well. They are just about to break through as well. It's so unfortunate. They're about to break through. And they're about to get surrounded by Vintercourt Swordsmen. Here we go. And Shipman. And in they go. Now these Vinland Guard... Are going to form another like V hit, well not a V, but like cordon off this choke point with the, the spear paladins just in case anyone comes through. Looking like it might be the general, a Haven Guard unit, a really good uh, unit to shoot with uh, archers because they have no shields. And they're clearly the arch tower and these ar yard patrollers over here doing just that, taking a few of them out. Here they come, they'll, they'll do some damage to uh, some of these units in here because they're Haven Guard, but not enough, not enough. Men are throwing down their weapons of the fleeing, are they? Okay, over here. Well, this is still having a lot of problems, it looks like. And the archers over here just getting focused down. I think all the archers that have gone up onto this wall just not ended well. Like, this is just a really nice spot here. You just basically fire directly, like, at them. And over here, not the worst angle either. And you're shooting directly there as well. Yeah, these guys, these poor archers. Jeez, there you go, breaking just like that. He did get a volley off, shoot, shot a few guys here, but it's just not going to be enough. And I think, like, this has just been the case with all the archers up here. He had Nimrodel uh, uh, rangers up here. You can see a lot of them dead on here as well. Jeez, look at all those rangers. That is nasty. 
Um, and unfortunate. But yeah, there you go. So the uh, arch is about to break for a final time. The thing is, you can't go off the walls. You can't get off the walls. Oh my gosh, that was nasty. Yeah, but like you can't go back off the uh, siege towers. Like once they're up, you can't go like back down them. He's got to go out this way, or he's got to go out some of the other ways over here. So he's really like condensed stuff. But this is not the hardest settlement, I don't think, to defend. It's not too bad. A third army may have made balance this out. It may have made it a bit more of a struggle, but so far it's doing okay. This is their defence. But a third army attacking may have balanced this out, may eat it a bit harder for the defenders. Because we've been quite easily able to defend these these choke points, but I, I don't know. Just like it's a, all these elite units as well, they'll hold for a long time, so it does make defending easier. Like you can hold for quite a long time, you can let archers do a lot of work. I mean, this is a bit worrying here. I mean, let's go and see what's happening on the other side. Oh, it looks like um, the Uruk-hai have sallied out. They're going to try and surround, like, the last final units and then try and surround, I presume, like, what's fighting in here. Um, but, I mean, it looks like the general is now going to have a bit of a chance to do some uh, hammer and anvil here. This could be nasty. Some uruk scouts here, they're going to certainly feel the pain here. That is nasty. That is a nasty charge. Ravanian rangers, I think these guys are, aren't they? A uh, regents, not rangers. Regents. And they're, yeah, they're getting absolutely like, focused on. What have we got here? White Hand Storm. He's got a lot of infantry now coming out the gates. Uh, basically, just to, I guess, charge out and try and do some damage. Oh, I do apologize. Yeah, there's only one unit defending here. If they could break through, there's pikes down here. Need to move these pikes forward. They're not. Re Actually, no, they're fully in combat. You need to send the swords forward to support these pikes. But the general here, he's having a really good time of it. I mean, these Uruk-hai infantry here get losing decisively to Bardings. Didn't realize Bardings are so good in combat, but they are actually getting focused down, so it's probably why they're losing in decisively. And there's like desperately trying to chase down some of these uh, regions, is the Uruk-hai player. Can he do it? I don't think so. Oh, Pike's coming out now. They're really going to try and get these guys. I mean, here we go. Another charge from the uh, Regents. Into these White Hand Stormers. There's a couple of them got there in time. Not a great charge. I think they got held up. Oh, no. Here come the rest. And yeah, it wasn't a great charge. They got held up by these other infantry. And they are slowly losing men. Every time they pull out. I mean, they're also getting focused down now with archers. Here we go. Going into another fight here. Oh, see that fire, like that shot on the back here. Another one going to come in. Archers, loose. Now is the time, loose. Oh, that was brutal. I mean, getting a few a bit of friendly fire there, but so many uruk like, getting killed for that one. Yeah, nasty, getting shot right in the back. So, I mean, looks like a bold move by... Um, Isengard, it's not going to cost him the battle, I don't think, but it's going to cost him lives. Like, he's losing... Uh, Dale is losing decisively, like, all over here. But yes, it's uh, it's looking pretty brutal. He's actually now losing a unit of uh, swords here. These archers are now starting to lose. Yeah, it's it's very close. Well, it's, it's not very close. It's um, basically all wrapped up. And there you go. I think Dol Amroth is gone. That was the final nail in the coffin. His general went in. And he died, unfortunately. The enemy general is I think that's him just dying now. Yeah, being chased down and killed. Unfortunate. Um, I'd say one of the mistakes Dol Amroth made was just sending so many troops in this small area here. Um, was a bit, I don't know, debatable. Sending so many men down in one choke point. It was easy to then plug it up. Maybe could have sent more troops around here, pressured this area. Um, maybe put more men over this wall. Who knows? Balance power was fairly even at the beginning as well, so it wasn't. Um, they had we had more men defending, which it does help. But they had the better quality, I would have said. 
Isengard has certainly got a good quality army, but I wouldn't say Dorwin has had a great army to uh, fight against. They're one of the weaker faction, I'd argue. I've got a good roster, but they're one of the weaker factions. And here we go. Dale is getting chopped down by Isengard. Arrow's coming in. And now, what do we have over here? We have a uh, small force of uh, Darwinian troops here, made up of Winter Court swordsmen, uh, shipmen, just fighting, just fighting uh, Dale. You know, just focusing them down. And here we go. This is going to be nasty. We've got what have we got here? We've got archers. We need to shoot these guys in the back. This will be nasty. We've got more archers arriving now. Some yard patrols. We've got, already got some elite yard patrols here. And here we go. Oh my gosh, this is going to be nasty. Battle on the bridge. Uh, just uh, my, mind your own business. Shoot, like fighting the uh, men in front of you. Like they should be all these guys. This is a very weak unit. But with these arrows here, just making it worse. And here we go. Vinland guards going through now. Um, just chopping these guys down. But they're pulling back. I think they're just going to let the archers do the work. Not a bad decision, to be honest. Uh, look at this guy here. He's got like two arrows in his shoulder. He's been lucky to survive. He's, everyone around him is now dying. Just like they're taking one arrow, and he's like, Puh. one arrow. I'll take two. Make it three. I don't know. I don't think he's got any more yet. But this is brutal. Brutal. Here comes more arrows. Dawn and Yard patrols is getting ready. I want to see if they can like what happens when they let loose a volley. More of them. Come on, archers. Loose. Loose. Yes, yes. Oh, lots of blood splatters over there. And here they go. They're turning around now as Dale. He's realized that it's not worth it. He might as well charge this way and not get shot in the back. But here we go. This unit's starting to waver. It's had enough. It's had enough. Oh, gosh. That's nasty. And there you go. They've broken. And uh, that's it. That's probably it for Dale, really. He's got a few units out here. His general's dead. Um, where did his general die, in fact? I think he died over here. Yeah, I think he died here. A lot of Urukai dead here, though, as well. So he took a, quite a lot of men down with him, but wasn't to be worth it. Berserkers coming in, though. We haven't seen them in action yet today. I mean, they'll chop these guys nicely up. They're just bardings. Oh, there's more of them here. I didn't even realize. Yep, those berserkers do their job well. They do their job well. Being angry little men. Chopping them down. Here we go. Pikes now coming. If these guys weren't already condemned, here we go. Just a few pikemen. Just in, just in case they thought they could break through this. There's a, there's a unit of pikemen to block them. But no, that is probably going to be it for that battle. So, I mean, it seemed like it was a valiant uh, attack by the attackers but it wasn't to be um, in the end the defenders just could hold them back and I think this this uh, choke point here bit of a problem should have opened up some different ones because you can still see they're still holding in the same spots now surrounding um, the poor Dale swordsmen that are in it or Vinland guards in fact there you go breaking um, may have been better opening up different areas and then Dol Amroth possibly could have come down the walls um, and not with all those forces really so we'll end the replay and have a look at the end results. So, I mean, um, well played to all those that took part. Thank you for joining. I'll just put that. I did, it was unfortunate for the attackers. They didn't uh, have a, a very fun time with that. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed that battle anyway. Um, but, yeah, so we'll have a look at some of the end results. I mean, uh, Vin, uh, Vinter, Vin, Vintner Court Swordsman. Yeah, I was just making sure I said that right. I was said it and then thought, no, that's not right. But getting 166 anyway. Um, and then Darwinian Spear Paladins getting 130, and they're like some of the top units. These are uh, Vinland Watchmen actually getting 143. That's not awful. And then my Arch is getting 211 and 210. Excellent, excellent amount of kills. Um, and then we'll have a look at Isengard, played by Jordan Hench, um, getting lots and lots of kills with um, 
his archers as well 138 89 84 that's not too bad um they clip these guys aren't like as good as the crossbows but they're not too bad either like they're probably best to bring than the crossbows when you're defending um a siege because just bows are better for defense than a uh, crossbows possibly unless you put them on the wall but he did well anyway um, Berserkers getting 126 kills, that's not too bad. They did join the battle late and they still got a lot of kills. And then his Urukai Infantry getting 100. Everything else not doing so well. I mean, like, just did average. Oh, no, 156 there with another Urukai Infantry and 157 there. So they did okay. Not many of his units actually got really, like, stuck in too much, to be honest. And that was kind of the case. He only needed two units to hold, like, those two breaches for a long, long time. And they just racked up kills. His Pikes just getting absolutely demolished. Didn't even see that happen to them. They probably got, like, attacked by the cavalry and archers. It's really unfortunate. It's why Ann Stormers getting 97. That's not awful. Um, Dale, 407 kills with his Rabanian and Regents. Probably where most of his kills came from. He got 205 with these Bardings. They did excellent. And 127 with this one as well. Um, but his infantry just got overwhelmed. The best one did... Actually, these are more Marksmen here. Marksmen and Dale getting 70. Um, yeah, the best one actually was 48 with his uh, Vinland uh, Guards. They just got overwhelmed at his uh, swords, really. Spearmen actually getting zero kills. Oh, dear. And then um, Boris... Um, playing as Dol Amroth, he had a rough game as well. I mean, he sent so many of his units in that small area, and it kind of cost him. Dismounted Knights of Imra Hill getting 149, probably his best. His archers just got destroyed by mine when they just came onto the wall. His skirmishers did okay, 65, that's not awful for skirmishers. And his coast guards just kind of got obliterated. And it's kind of, it, it wasn't a, had a rough game, it really did. Um, so, well, apologies to Boris, I guess. Um, for it being making it so tough but anyway guys if you enjoyed this siege and you want to see more rise of mordor action then please do leave a like a comment if there's any like scenarios that you want me to try and recreate and a subscribe if you're new around here uh to join the papal legion it's always worth always worth joining so drop a sub if you want to uh, do just that and let's see if we can get ourselves to 1200 subs but i don't know by the end of the month I th i'm sure we can do it i'm sure we can do it but anyway guys if you enjoyed um like i said leave a subscribe leave a like leave a subscribe and until next time 